folks, so we'll just start with a, a quick recap on last Saturday's game away at London Scottish. Yeah, look, I think it was um, it was, certainly was a good test for us down there, and, and, and look, I think they're going to they've much improved from last season. And they're looking looking pretty strong, Scottish. Um, we were we, we we felt we started the game pretty well. We had a good 20 minutes um, and didn't capitalise on that and didn't get the scores we felt we could have got. Um, and then they dominated them for the next 20 minutes of that first half and, and pulled away. Um, and then in the end, it was quite pleasing to see how hard we came back um, in that last 20 minutes. And we probably should have got a few more rewards um, from that 20. Um, and in the end, we, we, we came away with a bonus point. Um, so look, we, we, there's some pleasing bits out of that in terms of performance, but, but ultimately we need to be a bit more ruthless when we get our opportunities in the opposition 22 and, and take those. Your aim during these or over these three cup games was to mix your squad up a bit and, and see a bit more of the new boys and, and what the rest of the squad have got. Um, Friday gives you the, the final opportunity to do that. Yeah, no, absolutely. So we, you know, we picked uh, two different sides to play uh, the first two weeks, and again we've we've, we've changed up and and uh, changed people in. So we, we we've swapped the props again this week, which we feel is the right thing to do uh, going into this weekend. Um, which will give us some uh, some more impetus on a, on a short turnaround um, and enable us to bring some you know the guys that started last week off the bench to really inject into that last 30 minutes. Um, kept the second row pairing pretty similar. They're building nicely as a, as a good pairing, and it's really good to see then Tom Holmes back on the bench um, for his his first uh, run out of the season, having had a few niggles during pre-season. So it's good to have him back in that mix in the second row, and also young Cam Jordan who actually. We felt we were very pleased with last week, a young lad who came in on dual reds from Leicester, very energetic player and, and throws himself around. So we're very excited to see those two come on and again inject into that last 30 minutes, 20 minutes of the game and, and up our tempo, especially in the forward pack. Um, back row wise, we're, we're, we're pretty similar. Uh, in the back row, but it's great to see Will Owen come back in again. Someone else has had Niggles join pre-season, but he's now back into the, back into the mix, and it's great to have him back. And um, obviously, with his skill set, brings something different to our back row as well. Um, and then we've we've just brought in Sam Lewis from from Leicester Tigers as well on dual red. So big big help from them again this week, and great to see that partnership working well. Um, so Sam will come in and come off the bench and a, you know, a player of that quality that we saw last year. Um, slight positional change for him to six um, and we're looking forward to helping him develop in that slot as he is looking forward to helping us you know, win games of football. Um, Murray comes back in after, after that head knock um, that he took against uh, Leeds. So he comes back in and, and he'll come back in and skip at the side. Um, after Alex Dolly has had a, a fair bit of rugby on the back of that, so it, it's important that we, we make a change there. Um, obviously, Will Millick picked up a bit of a knock last week at, at Scottish, so Tom Stevenson will start this week at, at 10. Um, and we're looking forward to seeing him go because there's been some flashes of things from him that have been really good in both games. Um, you know, he set up a really nice try and scored a good try against Leeds, and then he came on um, against Scottish and acquitted himself very well. So we're looking forward to seeing him out there. Um, the centres stay the same. So Peters and uh, Harry Strong. Looking forward to them building a strong partnership together um, and taking that into the game against Pirates. Whoever. You know, Pirates have a very physical centre pairing, so we're looking forward to seeing those those four go head to head. Um, and then on the wing, um, obviously Harry Graham had a, had a really good defensive game last week, and um, we were looking forward to seeing him go again alongside Ben Foley, who just seems to uh, keep scoring tries. Um, so it's good to see those two out there. And then Scanlon comes back in at fullback. Um, it was always the plan for Sean to play two of the. Two of the three, not um, not every one. Again, just minding his body and making sure he's ready for the for the, uh, the rest of the season. Um, and then look on the bench, um, Alex Dolly in there. So um, again, um, he kicked his goals pretty well from the touchline last week. So we're looking forward to bringing that into the game at the back end. Uh, and then Kieran Bungaroo's come in from from Leicester Tigers as well. So he's an exciting young prospect. Uh, the Tigers just signed for Tigers. Played the last three years at Beer Ritz. Um, in Pro D2, so we're looking again, looking forward to seeing him come in and and uh, showing us what he can do. Yeah, I was going to mention the new boys. Obviously, uh, Sam and Kieran both both coming in from Tigers. I know you you've mentioned before about 
you want to help them and, and they want to help you and it's you know it's just nice to keep that relationship with tigers and with wasps you yeah, know absolutely. close because you know it works both ways yeah well it, it always works best when it's a partnership and it's, it's in the best interest of everyone and at the minute um that's working really well with 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 leicester and um, really grateful for the help they've they've given us over this last week you know sebi cecil picked up a, a head knock in the game last week so it's important that sam came into us so you know really happy with that relationship and how that's working and as i said it's a partnership so you know these boys are on a development pathway and you know we need to do our bit there and help and push them on but also they know they're coming in here to help us win games of football and look all three lads cam jordan kieran and sam that come in week they've got good pedigree and and uh, they're exciting prospects and you know we're, we're looking forward to seeing them go in the green and white on to Pirates then, they've had one win, one loss so far, what are your expectations of them? Um, I think Pirates are going to be a team, they're going to be there or thereabouts in the top four this season um, in, in the Championship. They've recruited very well, a lot of um, ex-Leeds um, players have moved down there to add to what was already a pretty pretty strong and impressive squad. So look, we're expecting um, big physicality from them um, and we're expecting them to, to come here and and really show what they're about. Um, you know, they've been building fairly nicely over the last two games in what I've seen. Um, they had a good win at Leeds last week, so they'll be confident. Um, but look, we're, we're itching to get back out there, actually. We, we, um, we felt we left some points out there last week. And uh, look, the boys, are, the boys are itching to get back out at Lady Bay on a Friday night and really show everyone what they're about. Um, so the, our boys got bags of confidence going into this one, and, and, and as I say, really want to, you know, try and put a few things right that went a little bit away from us last week. Um, so yeah, they're they're hopping to get out there. In fact, we've had to pull them back a little bit this week because they're so keen to get out and put the put the put the wrongs right. So uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. I'm excited to be back here.